What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna talk about some politics in sports. All right guys, so at the end of the day, politics are gonna be in everything you do, whether it's you know a job, sports, schoolwork, whatever. There's gonna be politics in everything you do. There's gonna be favoritism, nepotism, whatever you wanna call it, but th there, it's just you can't get around it. There's no way around it. That's how the game has been forever. And you know, you could either sit there and complain about it or you could do something about it. I don't have any sympathy for the guy who you know, maybe doesn't play because of politics and then he just sits there and complains about it and he doesn't do anything about it. If you get passed over, you know what I mean? If you get passed over by a guy who, let's say the coach knows him or it's like the coach's son, whatever whatever the circumstance may be, you shouldn't be sitting there just sulking and oh, I'm never gonna get to play all this. Your time is gonna come. You ever think maybe it's just a test? You know what I mean? You ever think maybe it's some higher power testing you? right that you can't just think like that and think negative and think oh i'm done i'm finished like there's politics i'm gonna transfer why don't you sit there and why don't you go to work every single day why don't you try to do something about it that you can't control the only thing you can control is how hard you can work nobody can take away your work ethic from you so why don't you every day show up to practice and just say you know what? i'm just gonna make them think that they made the biggest mistake of all time go go in on scout team every single rep don't think you're too above the low the second third string guys go in every single day and just work your ass off that's how you're gonna prove them wrong all right so now we're gonna talk about what like how do you respond to that you know what I mean like how do you you can't go around and just be pissed off all the time what should your attitude be like if you've been passed over if you know let's say let, let, let's say coach's son right let's say you're a quarterback coach's son obviously he's gonna be starting quarterback and you're sitting there second string how are you gonna handle that? Are you gonna show up every day pissed off at everybody, be a bad teammate? No, you need to show up every single day, have that good attitude and that you wanna play. Show them that you wanna play, you wanna be there. You're not okay with being second string, but be supportive of the starter. You know what I mean? You can't just sit back and think, oh, this guy sucks and start talking about him because that's gonna say a lot about your character and coaches know that. Take it from a coach who knows, who's still a younger coach but he's been in a couple of coaches office we know when you're pissed off you know we know when you have a shitty attitude because you're not playing you need to go in there every single day still have that good attitude still show up to work and just be a teammate you know what i mean be a good teammate that's what they're gonna see they're gonna say man this guy really wants to be here this guy really wants to play and it's gonna force their hand it's not the coaches who make the decision it's the team that makes the decision if the team rallies around one guy they can't they have to go with him you know what I mean? I don't care what the circumstance is. You will eventually prevail if the team has your back. And that's what you should be focused on. You shouldn't be sitting there pissed off at the world. You should sit there, try to get better every single day. Go at it for your teammates, the younger guys on the team. Try to be a leader as much as you can. And then the team will rally around you. And then you'll overcome that. You know what I mean? It's just a test, guys. But you have to be a good teammate first. You can't have a bad attitude and expect anything to change. All right, guys. I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Please leave any questions you guys have in the comments. I'll make sure to get back to you. And I'll see you guys next time.